February is finally upon us. Year after year, January is the driest month of the entire year in terms of sneaker releases. Luckily, January has concluded, bringing us to the most action-packed month of the year, year after year, and that, my friends, is February. This February, to be specific, is absolutely insane. So in today's video, I will be going over sneakers to resell in the month of February. If you're not into reselling, that's fine. You can use this guide to know what are going to be the most hyped releases this month, what are going to be the most limited release this month, or even what popular general releases to wait for sale prices on because we're all trying to save a little bit of money on personal pay. Specifically, I will be going over the name of each sneaker, the release date, the retail, and whether they will be profitable or not, or if you should even wait for a sale on them. Now just a brief disclaimer, there's a lot of sneaker releases that aren't confirmed as of now that may pop up throughout the month, so subscribe and turn on post notifications just so you stay 100% updated on all those. With that though, let's jump right into this. So February starts off with a bang, no hesitation whatsoever. February 1st for $220, the Yeezy 350 V2 Marsh will drop on Yeezy Supply. In fact, it'll be a Yeezy Supply exclusive. Being a Yeezy Supply exclusive, however, doesn't automatically qualify a product to be profitable. We saw that occur with the magnets, unfortunately. However, 350s do generally have sufficient demand, in addition to the colorway not resembling prior releases, a reflective stripe, and a Yeezy Supply exclusive. With this combination, you should expect decent profit to be made on sizes under 7, as well as small profit on larger sizes, especially if you have no tax in your location. Now, prior to moving on, I do have a very exciting announcement. Some of you guys have waited two whole months to hear this. So finally, Endurance will be open it up to the public again, giving more people the opportunity to profit exponentially, just in time for the most profitable month of the entire year. Now, I don't want to waste your time here. We got a video to go over, so I'm just going to make this quick and simple. So I'll leave the link for the site and the success page in the description because I really do feel that success speaks for itself, it speaks on the profitability of the membership. So you can feel free to check that out if you do wish. The restock will be at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, February 1st. It will be tweeted from Keith Adam 10 my Twitter. Now, for all of those in Europe, I do have great news for you. Endurance EU will now be a separate server. It will be cheaper than the normal server because it's identical aside from info and monitoring that only applies to US being left out and filtered out. For example, you won't have a Hibbit monitor because Hibbit only ships to the United States. So I'll tweet out the link to purchase the main endurance, the worldwide one, and then right under that will be the Europe only one. It will also be cheaper for Europe only considering you won't have any US info in that server. Both will be at 1 p.m. Eastern time tweeted from Keith Adam 10, Saturday, February 1st. But now let's get back to the video because I don't want to waste any of your guys' time. So also February 1st, the infrared SB dunks will be dropping for $100. These have been dropping through throughout the month within the United States because they are a general release. They do not have an exact release date. However, in Europe, they do have a release date and that is going to be February 1st. It's easy small profit to be made with these with a decent margin. Now, another February 1st drop is the metallic silver Jordan 1 mids for $125. There should definitely be decent profit to be made on these with a good margin. Normally, I would suggest sticking to smaller sizes, but all sizes may end up performing well for these considering the sizes that did load up on sneakers. But with that, let's move on to the next one. Jump into February 7th for $110, the Dunk Low Plum will drop. So now with that low retail of only $110 and there being consistently more demand on Dunks this year, you can definitely count on some easy small profit with a good margin on these. Now moving to February 8th, this is one I know a ton of you guys are going to be very excited for. February 8th for $200, we will see the Jordan 1 Varsity Red 85. These will be very, very profitable with a good margin despite the retail being higher at 200 in comparison to the normal 160 or I should say 170 now for Jordan 1s this year. Also throughout the video instead of adding them at the end I decided I was gonna mix in all the shoes without exact release dates this month just to spice up the video a little add some entertainment to it. So to kick it off with those for example the Yeezy 380 Mist should be dropping sometime in February for $230. When it comes to these you could certainly expect a terrific 
margin on these with great profit. Moving on to February 12th for $200, the LeBron 7 All-Star will be dropping. The pictures you're seeing on the screen right now though are from the 2010 pair. Anyway, I would only suggest purchasing these for personal wear and if you did want them for personal wear, I would actually suggest waiting for a sale price on these. On the other hand, if you did want a personal of the Gatorade tie-dye PG4, I would not suggest sleeping on these, but I also would not suggest purchasing these with resale intentions. Drop February 13th for $120. Now moving on, two Sakai waffles will be dropping this February. There is no exact date at the moment, but you can feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications just so you're 100% updated on these. You could also feel free to follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, where I tweet out more urgent updates. A black and white pair of these will both be dropping for $160, and of course, like past Sakai waffles, you could certainly expect a great margin on these with terrific profit. Moving to February 14th for $170, the Jordan 1 Women's UNC to Chicago will drop. You could expect all sizes in these to be profitable, but the best sizes since these are women's sneakers instead of men's sneakers, you want to stick to very small or very large sizes in comparison to Jordan 1 men's, which would simply be sizes under 10, those would be the most profitable. But regardless, all sizes of these should definitely yield you some good profit. Also, February 14th, the Jordan 1 New Beginnings pack should drop. It's actually two Jordan 1s for $350 total. You should expect some good profit here. I'll keep you guys updated. Now, another one with no confirmed date as of now, but should be Valentine's Day, which is also the 14th, for around $120, the Strange Love Nike SB Dunk Low should be dropping. Expect definitely decent profit on these with a great margin, considering the retail is so low on these SB Dunk Low. Now, February 15th, for $200, we'll be seeing the second Yeezy 700 V3 after seeing the first one not too long ago. This pair is all black, expected to be very profitable with a great margin on these due to that low retail of only $200, even though we're used to Yeezy 700s being $300, so this is just an absolute bonus. You love to see. Also, February 15th for $200, we will see the Fire Red Jordan 3, which you guys already saw from the Shock Drop. I would suggest purchasing these for personal only for the main drop, even though you can make a little bit of lunch money right now off the shock drop. When it does come to the main drop, personal only. I personally do think they do look pretty fire. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. To add to February 15th, just to add on to the flames of a chaotic day, we have an off-white dropping, the off-white Jordan 5s for $225. There will also be toddler and preschool pairs releasing on this same day. Now regarding men, preschool, and toddler, all of which should yield you incredible profit with a great margin. So yeah, February 15th and even 14th, definitely very hectic days. We'll have to keep our eyes wide open. Now moving on to another sneaker with no exact date at the moment, the Yeezy 350 Flax should also be dropping this February for $220. There should be easy lunch money to be made on sizes under 7 and under 10 if you do have no tax in your location. Moving to February 16th for $100. Moving to February 16th for $400, the Nike Adapt Basketball 2.0 will drop. I would not suggest sleeping if you do want a personal pair for these simply because I can't see them going too far under retail on secondary market platforms. However, I would not suggest purchasing these with resale intentions. Any Anyway, moving on to another February sneaker with no exact date at the moment. For $350, the Fear of God Air 1 string will drop. You can expect small profit to be made on these with a very poor margin. In fact, if you have tax in your location, I may suggest staying away from sizes over 10. Another drop with no exact date or retail at the moment, but it should be February 15th, although it's not confirmed at the moment. The Just On Air Force 1 in all blue will be dropping. You should be able to make decent profit off these, but that does depend on the retail. So we'll see what happens there. I'll keep you guys updated on these. Now jumping to February 20th, we have the Adidas Stan Smith Disney or Mickey Mouse collaboration there are going to be three shoes in total dropping for $120 each when it comes to these for personal wear I definitely wouldn't suggest sleeping regarding profitability I'm not sure at the moment but there is a chance that you might be able to make a little bit
bit of lunch money and keep in mind adidas does do free return then moving to february 21st the first yeezy 700 mnvn should be dropping maybe dropping i should say because it's not confirmed at the moment it should be the triple black version and they will only be 220 dollars leaving plenty of room to profit now if they don't drop then both the orange and the black should be dropping on february 28th and when it comes to the orange pair or the black pair expect great profit with a great margin this month is shaping up to be absolutely incredible so moving on we got some uh, some more great releases february 29th it's not over yet guys the pine green jordan one will be dropping for $170. I would suggest copying all sizes under 10 for resale purposes, but if you do have no tax in your location, you might be able to make a little bit of profit off of sizes 10 to 11 as well. We'll see as we approach the release. We'll see as we approach the release though. And finally, last but not least, one that you guys have been waiting a long time for, February 29th for $150, the Travis Scott or Cactus Jack SB Dunk Low will be dropping. Of course, you could expect very high profit on these and it may very well have the highest margin of all of these sneaker releases throughout this absolutely action-packed month so evidently we have a lot to look forward to we have a lot to prepare for if you do take reselling seriously you do understand this is a big money month you, you do understand that you're going to be making a lot of profit if you do pay attention and you do play your cards wisely but anyway with that I'm going to conclude it for today again just a reminder endurance will be restocking at 1 p.m. Eastern February 1st on Saturday it will be tweeted from Keith Adam 10 keep in mind the worldwide link will be first and then right underneath that will be the Europe only link and for Europeans it will be slightly cheaper because there is no US info within that group anyway I'll conclude it with that feel free to leave a like if you did enjoy or you perhaps learned a thing or two subscribe and turn on post notifications just to stay 100% updated with that I'll see you guys later have a fantastic rest of your day me over every single day get your foot off my foot ah get your foot off my foot yeah i should have run the other way now there's just one thing to say get your foot off my foot ah get your foot off my foot yeah get your foot off my foot oh.